Hi there, I'm just doing a video now, an update after I've been using Red Seas Nopox. There's other brands of products available by the way, I'll just get that in. Um, but this has been really good. Initially, my phosphate level was always kind of dropping down in the region of about 0.04 and I couldn't really get it lower with Rovafos. Um, sometimes it would rise up to 0 0.06, so I would change the Rovafos, get it back down again in my reactor, and then it'd go down to 0 0.04. Um, it's not too bad, 0 0.04, but desirable levels to grow corals and to get colorations of corals we know needs to be a lot lower than that. Red Sea have got recommendations of their certain levels that they like to see to be growing corals and also. There's certain levels for coloration. Now, as far as dosing goes, initially Red Sea recommended dosing 3 ml per 25 gallons, which was what I carried out. Now, they recommend that for any nitrate level above 10. Now, my nitrate level had ran up into the region of around 35 parts per million. Um, possibly more at times I think it was just a case of my, my rocks leaching it out probably not enough rocks because I'm going for like a minim minimalistic look not changing my row fossil enough and probably because it's such a, a, a big tank um, it's very deep it's, it's three feet probably skimping on how much water change I was doing but water changes in itself um, most people do believe aren't really going to dent nitrate levels in the long term. Nutrient export using microalgae, that, that's going to get your nitrate down. Um, but nitrate's still going to be absorbed into the system, into the algae. So in a sense, you, you're just moving the problem into, into another area. Even though you will get levels from your water test kit stating that it's zero. What I like about Nopox is, is that... It puts extra pressure on your skimmer to really start skimming the carbon source out um, and, to, and to skim the nitrate and phosphate out of the system. So your skimmer will be producing a lot more schemate. To begin with, it starts off the usual kind of very dark colour you're used to. Then it will start to go into quite a yellowish, greenish colour. Coming, it turning into a, like a tea colour as your nitrate and phosphate levels start to come down. Now, once you get your nitrate levels to um, above 2.5, then they recommend reducing the dosage down to around 2 mil for every 25 gallons. And then again, once your um, nitrate level gets to 1 or more, they recommend the dosage of one mil for every 25 gallons now i'll get to that stage um i'm really happy with the levels i'm at now like i say 10 parts per million of nitrate is a lot better than what it was my phosphate 0 0.02 now so it is looking nice now it's to now and again when i first started dosing it people talk about on the forums about getting some cloudy water which is like a bacterial bloom which occurs when all kinds of nitrifying bacteria um, are developing in your system. And it's just a sign, according to Red Sea, that you need to pull back on your dosing. It's a sign that the bacteria are populating that quickly, that your water is getting quite cloudy, which can have an impact on oxygen um, saturation in the water, which can affect your fish and, and, and can affect your pH levels, etc. I mean... No pox affects your pH level anyway, it brings it down. You can see it instantly if you've got pH probes in your sump or whatever on your tank. Um, but it does rise back up, but it, you do have to keep dosing your, your, your alka a lot to keep your KH up and keep an eye on your pH. But So apart from a, a, sometimes I have to reduce the dose, I mean now I've, I've gone down to about 5 mil. Initially I was doing 12 mil a day now in divided doses, now I'm doing 5 mil. Um, it, it's it's been really good. Now there's a couple of corals that I think have had a bit of a an effect, a negative effect from it. It does happen. I think because once you get your nutrient levels down that low, 
you have to really supplement on your feeder. Now I've been using Reef Energy A and B, which is a Red Sea um, product, which part of it basically puts the amino acids back into the into the system and all the beneficial elements for the corals. And the other part of it is is, is a direct food, which um, according to Red Sea doesn't impact on your nitrate or phosphate levels. And I've been dosing that daily. Um, of around three mil of each, you mix the A and B reef energy um, up together with equal portions. It has to be equal amounts, and then they get dropped into the into the system. You have to turn your skimmer off. Turn your skimmer off around half an hour. Red Sea recommends um, just so that all them good elements aren't skimmed out quite quickly for, to allow it to wash around the system. And that's been going okay. Now, one of my SPS, my bird's nest green SPS. Um, coral is starting to go a little bit white at the base a little bit bleached and that um, after research and from my own experience is is definitely a sign of lack of nutrition so I might start increasing um, my input of reef energy A and B I'll show you the packet in a minute and I'll also show you the effects of the SPS that's happened um, in a moment the rest of the corals are doing fantastic the, the reef energy basically allows the corals to expand their polyps to be able to take in the food source that you're also adding into it a lot more efficiently so some corals that weren't doing that great before for numerous reasons I had a couple of corals that got stung during coral warfare um, and now doing really well one of my corals is done a little bit better after it got stung um, and started to bleach out a while ago but it's not really picked up a massive amount since I'll show you that one it was a lobo coral so let me just show the SPS now that's the bird's nest coral. Now under this light it looks, from where I'm standing, it looks quite browned out, but it's not. It's got a nice um, bright green colour to it, but you can see right at the base there, if you look at the um, long kind of stump that's coming up, the tower there, right next to it on the right hand side, you'll see bleached out white areas of skeleton. I'm glad I've spotted it because I love this bird's nest coral. It's grew... Um, very quickly in my tank I've got another colony of it over there I'll show you that one because that one's coloured up a lot nicer under this light that's the other colony that I fragged from it that's been doing fine I've got an acro crab that come in on um, this SPS it's in there somewhere it looks like one of my hermits has decided to take shelter there as well um, but that's colouring up nicely now I'll show you the lobo coral that's not doing that great so I've been moving this round the tank into lower flow areas, low light level areas, high light level areas, but mainly low level because it's it bleached out slightly, but I definitely think it's a nutrition source because the pigmentation over most of it is a bright green colour if I can move it up there. The pigmentation on majority of it is nice coloration just around the outskirts is starting to kind of spike up where it's um, bleaching and, and receding on the polyps really. But I'm hoping increasing my um, reef energy will, will help this out. Um, I'll show you some candy canes now that weren't doing that brilliant initially. But now are like vibrant big fat toffee apples really. Um, they look lovely. I'll show you them. Now these have been doing really good. Um, there's a colony of about six or seven of them. Um, and they've really plumped up. I've definitely noticed an increase of their polyp extension with the reef energy definitely um, so I'm really happy about that so I'll continue to dose I'll let you know um, how I'm getting on and I'll let you know how the SPS kind of levels out but I'm pretty sure that more supplementation on the feeding will sort it out but I'll let you know apart from that I've had no other problems um, people have mentioned losing huge colonies of acros and clouded water that they can't get rid of and stuff like this and having to buy the supplements i haven't had any of that i mean i've been using it for around three weeks now three and a half weeks and um it's been it's been doing great you've just got to stick to what they say stick to what red sea say with the dosing i am i ain't running roifos at the same time with it people have it's all over the forums yet yeah, been using it for years running roifos it'd be just my luck to run roifos and something to go wrong um I know it's a different form, a different source of 
phosphate removal but I just didn't want to chance it so I've took my reactor offline um, and, and that's it so thanks for watching please feel free to put your comments below positive or negative and if you subscribe to me I'll subscribe back if you're a fish channel or coral channel marine channel tropical channel anything to do with um, this hobby and I'll sub back thanks a lot